From the very beginning, the idea was to be interacting with a small figure of Nikola Tesla as he recounted the details of his life. He's a guy who had his legacy stolen and there are too many people who have no idea who he was. The technique of projection mapping is often used on locked off surfaces. This wasn't the case in this project. The combination of an old-fashioned pop-up book with digital projection seemed to be the perfect fit to tell Tesla's story. I worked with a 3D pop-up designer in Germany who worked from our initial 3D sketches. Once they were completed, we had to measure them using 3D spatial scans. Then create a piece of software that for each scene finds the geometry enables us to project on them. The face mapping module is another piece of technology that had to be created. The projected and animated image adheres to the mask as I move. It was an incredibly complicated task. If you are projecting a face at the same time as you are acquiring information on where it is, you end in a feedback loop. We had to completely change course and implement a tracking based on infrared LED tracking markers. We wanted the piece to be about Tesla, which is also why there is zero magic in the piece. There is not a single moment where something appears or disappears or animates. It's magical, but I didn't want people to talk about me being a good magician. It had to be about Nikola Tesla. We wanted him to interact with Marco, and it turned out that having a moustache and the right outfit worked wonder. The production was done across the globe, us being in Switzerland and Marco in New York. I would get up early in the morning, test them, give feedback and send them back to Switzerland, where they would be rendered again and sent back to me in New York. Designing the perfect scenes involves many tweaks and numerous versions. We did 17 iterations of the final output. McElroycourt did an amazing job creating the music that leads us through Tesla's life and gives the audience a glimpse not only into his genius but also into the gentle and beautiful soul of this true visitor of physics. <laughs>